way back from Chiang Mai, we've stopped at Nakhon Sawan Chira Prawat Golf Course. I'm going to be playing the Honma driver again with the old clubs. First hole, dog leg, left to right, 430 yards. Quite wide open. thought that the hole went to the right but it goes to the left I've got 220 yards left it's not much danger around I mean there's a bunker on the left and a bunker on the right so I'm gonna try the Honma forward ah. 63 yards in if I control the distance with a backswing Follow through like a normal shot. par three we've got water on the left and we've got water over the back so we don't want to be going over the back here players 180 yards into a breeze I'm gonna hit the six iron and with the breeze into me this should should finish about pin high but if I'm short that's okay as long as we're not in that water so we're gonna go at the pin and hopefully land pin high or front of the green Okay, so we've got quite a bit of green to work with here players I can see that there are two tiers to this green there's a lower tier and the upper tier the pin is on the upper tier you can see by the change in color here that it's a little bit wet and the corridor I have to go through is quite dry and I would assume with this coloring of the green it's into the grain so I've got to be a bit more aggressive but from down here I mean, I could hit an 8 iron. I'd rather like to chip this with a pitching wedge, but since I don't have one, I'm going to have to use the sand wedge. Okay, that was pretty good. It rolled up nicely. No problems. Be aggressive, players. Do not get tentative at the green. We've got a 510 yard par 5 here, pretty straight, quite wide, I'm going to aim it up the left side of those, at those Japanese guys down there and I'm just going to give it a rip. I got 272 yards left, I'm in this hazard over here, I just need to lay it up somewhere to get myself a nice shot to the green. So an eight iron and probably another eight iron in. Okay, maybe a, maybe a four iron in. 179 left. Not the ideal shot into a par five, but I'm pretty confident with a six iron. There's a bunker left. And a bit of space on the right not much but the pins in the middle of the green so if the pins in the middle aim to the middle Something I probably should have done on the first hole is have a look at the layout. They give it to you on the tee box. So this one is a dog leg left. 
I'm going to find out the distance to the end of the dog leg and just hit it straight up there with something that won't reach. The end of the dog leg is about 255 yards away. I was going to hit the four iron, but I just feel like hitting the four wood. Let's see how it goes. Straight up at that pole in the middle of the dog leg. I just hit the plate. There's the pole I was aiming at. And from the tee, I shot the rangefinder back to that pole over there, which was next to the tee. There's a 247 yard forward. 176 yards. Now, a lot of people just calculate the distance on my videos from the scorecard distance, and then minus my approach shot to work out how long I've hit the ball. I've hit this thing 245, but because it's a dog leg they measure it up the middle of the fairway so while it's gone 245 it's it's missed the point of the middle of the fairway where they measure from so now I've got 176 it doesn't mean the ball actually went 200 yards though Sandwich, I'm going to have to fly on too far. I'm not comfortable with that. I, I'm looking at about maybe half a, half a yard, maybe a yard onto the green with an eight iron here. Bump it up, let it run down. It's a little downhill down grain, so I've got to keep the mark that I'm landing it on a bit closer to me. Double around here. But an eight may be too much. If I had a wedge, it would be a better club. I've been hitting the ball too hard. It's killing my back and my right shoulder. So what I noticed with that uh, forward I just hit, it was much easier. So I'm going to have to lay off on the driver. I don't know why I'm smashing it. I think it's to cover up like insecurities in the swing to just swing harder so a little bit easier let's see what happens could be good okay this uh this t is actually a waste bunker okay so now all i'm thinking about is my foot slipping because of this mud here so i'm going to tee it up in front of the tees okay you just got to swing it easier why am I hitting it so hard? 146 yards left. We've got a bunker on the right hand side. It's 137 to carry that. I've got an eight iron because I don't have a wedge. A wedge would be ideal. But I'm not really worried about the bunker because the eight will go far enough. Into a little breeze so it should stop the ball a bit. I'm going left of this pin to avoid that bunker. Not my smartest shot laying off the eight iron so much. I've now got a, a pretty tough chip, long carry, not much green to work with. But I'm not going to add loft or anything, I'm going to hit a normal chip and just try to get it within five, six feet of the hole. Guys, make everything a one foot putt and aim to something a foot in front of the ball. Ah. I've changed my mind. I'm even going to be even lower stress and I'm just going to hit the four. 
four iron, four iron on a long par four, whatever. One hundred and seventy-six yards to the pin, and to clear the bunker in front is going to be about one hundred and sixty, one hundred and sixty-one yards. Six iron will clear that. Uh, the pins at the front. I should be going to the back. If I had a 5 iron, I would hit my 5 iron to the back about 190, 195. But I have a 6 iron, I don't want to hit the 4 iron and smash it over the green. So I'll aim a bit left of the pin, since it's on the right behind the bunker. And the wind from the left should bring it back in. And if I'm not on the green, I'll be just short with an easy chip. Rain is uh, big time from the right. The burn is on the left, so as it dies, it's going to die toward the hole. So the entrance of the hole actually changes. When you're looking at a putt, don't just look at the entrance at the left lip or the right lip. The entrance actually changes and is quite wide as the ball dies. Okay, not enough break. But you can see how the grain takes it. The trees in the back are about 260, so I know I'm not going to reach those. I'm going to hit the four iron as far up there as I can, because I'm probably still like no, 300 yards. So this is the perfect shot, a full eight into the green after a shuri. Don't complain about good shuris. Okay, 156 yards. The pin is on the right hand side. There's no real danger here. The, the only thing is the greens are tiny. So I'm gonna go at the pin and expect a little draw. That way I'm on the left side of the green with a putt. And if I hit it straight, it's at the pin, which is even better. It was a bit yippy at the bottom there. I got a bit nervous, I don't know why. Oh. At the green, we've got a, a big bunker right in front of the pin. It's 188 to carry that. So I'm gonna go a bit left of that bunker to the, fr to the entrance of the green. So that if I get it onto the green, if it goes far enough, I'll have a nice lag putt. But if it stays short and left, I'll have an easy chip right up the middle of the green to the pin. Easy life. my lag putting what I'm really trying to focus on guys is to try get this feeling away because I find that the club is easily moved with the wrists when I'm putting like this so I'm trying to drop my hands down closer to the steel so I feel like my my putting stroke is controlled purely by the rocking of my shoulders so depending how far I go back is how far the putt will go so I use that as a gauge for lag putts and now I'm starting to do it for shorter putts too I was too handsy before because of this this elbows out thing so i put my hands way down elbows straight relaxed grip let the shoulders rock okay i'm going to try here a little swooper a little right to left swooper start it up the middle of the fairway hopefully it draws back i just need 220 or 240 out of this thing and then i have a six or an eight iron to the green Okay, center of the fairway, got 156 yards left. 
It should be a nice solid eight. I'm not gonna hold off on this eight. I'm gonna give it a wallop. The pin looks like it's in the center. I got bunkers left and right. So the pin is a little bit, is favoring the left side a little bit. So I'll go right up the middle of the green and hopefully draw it in and just give it enough power to get there. Drop the ego and just swing it. So what I like to do is I look, like to look for something to aim at. So I line my club, my club face up to this leaf in front of the ball to get the direction. Okay, so I'm on the front and I'm gonna have a lag putt. I'll show you the metronome movement. Okay, I've got a, I've got a lag putt here. This is the first one I've really had on these greens. I don't know the pace that much, but I'm gonna trust this metronome movement where I, I let my hands just, just go to a natural level. I don't try to pick it up here or bend the elbows. Get the elbows nice and straight, hold it down here, really comfortable, and just rock the shoulders back and forth instead of this movement where the wrists are able to come into play. I wanna take them out of play and just rock it back and forth. The backswing controls the distance. Oh. Now that's not bad. <laughs> 